All right, so you guys voted for the Charles Martel by one. Chapter 85 I'm glad, is now I'm glad I was the deciding vote. <laughs> <laughs> Puck had contributed 8,000 channel points to make sure nice. that Charles Martel worked. And Zephyr85, thank you very much for the follow. Cruiser Day. Did I see your hipper request? Let me take a look. Guess I'll force a hipper replay since Chad has decided to make today Cruiser replay. Cruiser Day. Okay, fine rating. We'll do that one next. Hey, hipper, hipper's a lot better than it used to be. Uh-huh. Hipper, I see it on two brothers. Oh boy. I mean, with all the reload buffs, the like, it's got more plating now. I mean, tier eight cruisers are not as bad overall as they used to be. Yep. Hey, Duckman, you're welcome, dude. I don't have a problem talking about wiki stuff, so. 150k plus damage in that game. Hey, you ended up winning that game. <laughs> you ended up winning that game. Let's talk about that for a second. Like Tox said, yeah, you could have easily lost it. Like, who give? Who cares if you do 250k if you lose? Like, it's it's one of those like if you're in ranked, right? Oh, you saved your star because that was a ranked game, right? Like, yep. Your point, your goal in ranked is to win. It is not to get top XP. If you're if you're going in it with a mindset of saving your star, you're already losing. Yep. That was your first ranked game, so you couldn't lose now, your star I, even better. I, I do that too. Um, <laughs> when you can't go back, you can play a bit dumb. But yes. For the sanity of your teammates as well. Plus, getting the, the more you play, the more rewards you get. Winning gets you more than losing. Yep. Either either way, I mean, I'm glad that you sent in the replay because there's a oh, yeah, lot that we were able to talk about there that, uh, quite frankly, I think a lot of players, uh, you know, do mistakenly. So that was that was a really good opportunity to talk about that kind of stuff. Yeah, we, we know death picks are your thing, Deadliest. It's, it's OK. Your secret's safe with us. <laughs> So let him get picked by the other team in the World of Warships kickball game. <laughs> World of Warships kickball. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I would be down for some meme event mode like that. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. I mean, we had like tank soccer in World of Tanks. Mm hmm. Well, and team damage going away does close a few options, but maybe opens a few other ones. Oh, for sure. You could totally do soccer. Oh my god, this could be... I have an I have an idea for it. Oh my god, this could be fun. Uh, Bunny, you should drink some vodka? Go for it. I mean, you know, I'm doing my thing. Reaching my drinking age soon, Desta. Considering buying a can of Bud Light. Um, Desta, two things I will say about that. One is, don't rush it just because you're 21 doesn't mean you should drink a bunch of beer or alcohol, whatever. Um, two... Try whatever you want, and if you don't like it, then skip it. Rip. So interesting seeing, um, seeing Cochlin sit. I think this is Cochlin's game, right? I always mess up Dutch and Cochlin. I'm pretty sure this is Cochlin. It's interesting seeing Cochlin sit here behind this island because this is this is where you typically see the arcing cruisers sit, but you know, usually a, a Charles Martel is more like out in the open being shot at, like open water. 
But uh, it seems to be working for you so far, at least. Buy some pricey beer. Hmm. All right, it is confidence game. That's what I thought. Um, enemy team there has pretty much thrown their lives away already. They're down three ships. Not it's just over five minutes long, which is crazy. Yeah, brewery tours are a good idea. Um, you can find something that that you like that works for you. Uh, also, you know, don't feel like you have to go to bars. It's a lot cheaper to buy something at a grocery store. Uh, Viper, hello. Uh, how are you, my dude? Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a sec, Polkeremo is now following. Go ahead and check out Viper. Um, I hope I typed that in right. I did. Maybe. Oh, there's an underscore after your name. I'm trying to get you the shout out, Viper, but holy crap. Alright, let's try this again. Underscore. There we go. Go check out Viper if you get a chance. Very nice, friendly guy. Very chill stream. Rather salt free. You're welcome, dude. Fix your name. <laughs> now, in Iowa, so at Charles Martel, you've got this um, spaced armor to where you can actually dodge and, and, and bounce a lot of his shells, which is hilarious. So, you know, I, I kind of like this. Um, I like that you've got the Iowa so frustrated that he's just going to just f and charge you which is great why did you not fire your torpedoes though you were lined up for torps why not fire them and then move forward and get in a position to fire your port torpedoes there you go there you go you even got a secondary hit on the iowa There you go. There you go. Huh. This that I was cool. using the, um, is that the camo only or dispersion only camo? Yeah, it's one of the two. I can't remember which one. Kivets, that thank you for the follow. You in big trouble. Mm hmm. Um, luckily, the Iowa didn't aim far enough forward. That could have hurt too, but it didn't. Yeah, that rear turret could have just killed your entire ship in one shell. Um, being broadside there, you were probably safe. Um, but yeah, worked. <laughs> Don't do it again, but hey, it worked. <laughs> well, I mean, being broadside there is probably safer than being angled. Yes. The angled shot could have killed you. Yes. And what we're talking about, guys, is um, if he's broadside, then... The shell coming in from the side will penetrate both side armors before exploding, so you'll get an over-penetration. Being at a slight angle like this, the shell coming in from the side has more space to go through before it explodes, which means it'll probably explode in your citadel. Like the back turret there, had it been aimed more under the um, superstructure of your ship rather than towards the aft, would have killed you. Yep. <laughs> yep. But, hey... Whatever. And, and earlier, even before that, killing your front turret instead of, like, aiming lower. Oof. And, I mean, there's a lot of luck in this game anyway. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know how many times I've fired at a broadside battleship and whiffed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
RNG happens. RNG giveth and RNG taketh away. Oh, and I, somebody in chat talking about 22k damage was Edinburgh secondaries. Somebody I know finally got a Witherer in an Italian battleship. That's always hilarious. It was in the Lepanto as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sent me the picture. I was like, eh, finally happened. <laughs> so we got an Ostergotland that's still in the cap. 40 seconds left to place your units, guys. Four skull difficulty, I think, if I remember right. Yep, so everybody that can help is is very important. We got 75 allies in. There we go, Skyring placing a unit. Just how much derp is required to get a 60k? Uh, a lot of derp. And a lot of RNG luck, to be quite honest, too. You yeah. have to set a fire when they've already DCP'd. It was a combination. It was like 12 fires, um, a bunch of, like, her bursts and kremlins and things. Like, it has to... You have to have the exact setup and the exact RNG. But it was yep. one of those... It was... It's improbable, but it's definitely not impossible. Yep. You could also ram somebody and flood them out, and that gives you quite a bit yeah. of flood damage, too, so... Like the Italian battleship secondaries, even though they don't pet anything, they mm -hmm. are like the best fire starting secondaries in the game. Yep. Um, now, by the way, this is this is what I expected to see when I when I loaded up a Charles Motel replay. Yeah. You with engine boost sailing around the place, just just laughing as people try to shoot you. Not sitting behind an island. <laughs> well, you have to know when to make the move too. Yes, that is true. Also, you have to be very happy that they're very lucky to have a good batch of teammates that just wreck the enemy. Yep. You're up by six ships right now. Uh, wait to come around. Get the cap first. Gives you more XP. Well, okay. That works too. Nice kill based off of where you expected him to be even. And that's game. All right, uh, we're gonna move to stream Raiders, guys. We'll do a 30 second ad for pre-roll and to get us started, look at everybody hanging out here. We got Classic and Island Cat over here. Let's see what happens. See you in 30 seconds. Trap is tricky to run around willy-nilly where he was. He could have gone farther off towards the back though. That's where you typically see a Charles Martel. Hipper game. Ah, poor little foot. Wait. Little foot isn't actually doing anything. Little foot is just sitting there. And then we got these spitters. All right, whatever. Um, bomber gets a couple. Okay, so we'll do that to um, Fentonhorst. Only placing two units, but managing to kill 12 enemies. GG, my dude. That was awesome. All right, let's go back to the map. Four star, here we go. Tough battle coming up. Hmm, I'm gonna place my uh, my archer over there. <laughs> 